Hello dinner people, Jeff here, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make this little video quickly because uh, I've seen a trend that people are posting on Reddit how badly they cut themselves while carving. I'm not exactly sure why, but what triggered me is when I saw someone who was thinking about starting to get into whittling and carving, but they were afraid to start the hobby because probably all of the other people posting their really, really bad cut maybe to warn others, but I don't think it has the expected outcome. I've seen really nasty stuff out there, people cutting so deep that like they had to go to the ER and get lots of stitches. And so what I wanted to do today is just a quick video about how to hold a knife. I've cut myself twice, I think we all do it, but it was really, really tiny cuts. We all make mistakes, sometimes the wood is not strong, there's a little failure in it, you don't see it because it's inside the wood, so it's important to always stay focused. First thing first, carving gloves. You've seen my video before, I always wear carving gloves. Not everyone is wearing them, that is fine. I prefer to have carving gloves because it's just a little layer of safety. But there is nothing that will prevent someone from cutting themselves if they don't know the basics of how to hold a knife. They are cut resistant glove, so if you slice the glove, you will not cut your finger. If you stab the glove, then of course you will stab yourself. And you see there's a little opening here, it's because at some point my the point of my knife went in. And luckily for me, the glove took 100% of the blow, right? So you don't have to do it, you don't have to wear a glove if you don't want to. I personally like to wear gloves and that's just a preference of mine. But most importantly, how do you hold a knife? First thing first, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, I am right-handed, so the knife will go on my right hand, and then my project will be on my left hand. So how to hold the knife? Really simple. You take your knife and you point the blade away from you, and then you just grab it. Not too light, not too tight, just, just good enough so you're comfortable, right? Don't put the blade like this, or like this, or you know, put the blade in the direction of where you will carve. And then the thumb is where you feel comfortable. When I hold my knife, I usually put my thumb in the back here. Some people put it on the blade, some people put it on the handle, I put it, I'm not exactly sure, it depends on what I want to do, but it's usually behind like this, right? And that is how you hold a knife. Simple as that. The thing is, the right hand does nothing more than guiding the blade. The most important thing for you is when you do a push cut, the most simple classic cut, which is when you just shove a bit of wood like this, okay? Everything is done with this thumb right there. So how do I do that? Some people prefer to push on the blade. I prefer to push here in the wood. It's uh, bigger, so it's more comfortable for me. It's really up to you, right? But the right hand is just the lever into how to cut the wood. All the strength is on this thumb right there. So when I push, I'm applying pressure with this thumb, okay? That's it. The important thing is always to know if something happens, if you slip, if you, I don't know, get distracted, where is the blade supposed to go? So if I'm cutting like this, well, of course, I will cut towards my finger. So it's always important when you hold your project, and that's why carving really, really small things is dangerous. It's because your left fingers have to be somewhere safe, but sometimes when it's really small, it's kind of hard to put your finger outside of the way. So if you're carving something small, like one of the little Vikings that I've done before, it's really good if you can just have a longer piece but car carve small on it. So I can hold this piece right here and still cut really far away from my fingers. If I'm carving something really small, like the guy in this little face here, I still have some space, but it's a bit harder to hold. So just always make sure that your fingers are not in the potential way of your blade slipping. Because if you start putting strength on your right hand and not putting strength on this, if you slip, 
I can tell you, you don't have the reflexes to stop the blade in time. So if I push with this, like I was saying before, the maximum motion that I have is here. I cannot go farther than that. My left thumb is doing all the work right here, right? I cannot go away. If I hold my knife in a big uh, handle like this and I'm pushing, that's what I'm doing right now, with my right hand, I went so far right here. And what stopped me is the table because my right hand is putting all the strength. Never ever do that. Use your left thumb or your right thumb if you're left-handed and just push with it. And that's it. Right here is the farthest I can go with my blade. I can't go farther than that. My thumb is that length and that's it, right? When you're holding the project that you're doing, like I said before, most of the finger cut that you will get is your index. Because it's, <laughs> sadly for it, the finger that is always on the way. The nastiest cut I've seen on the internet is always on the index. Because the other fingers are usually out of the way. But sometimes you want to hold your thing, right? I do that sometimes. If you look at my other videos, sometimes I'm holding a thing like this. But it's really important to know the cut that you're making and most importantly if something happened where is the blade going again if i'm doing a stop cut like this it's okay that my finger is there because i would have to put so much strength with this thumb to go up against the grain all the way up until my hand right so that's okay but if i start doing the v cut that i want to do right here i will move my finger away and then I will do my V-cut, right? If I would put so much strength to just split the wood all the way, my fingers are not on the way right here, right? And even if I put so much strength, well, I'm at the end of my thumb length right here. I cannot go farther. This thumb is putting all the strength. If you start using your right hand, if you're right-handed, to keep on going, this is when you will hurt yourself. Because now I'm using strength in this hand and then see how far I went? I would have cut my finger. There's no way I can stop before that. Now let's start to talk about the pairing cut or the pull cut, right? This is the second probably most dangerous thing to do is this cut. Sometimes you have to do it. Sometimes you have to hold your knife like this and cut towards yourself which is of course dangerous. You're literally cutting towards yourself. This is the same thing. Make sure that your thumb is not on the way. So if I'm carving like this, right? My motion is this. I cannot cut my thumb because you see, that's the farthest I can go right here. That's it. I cannot cut anything because nothing is on the way. This little motion I'm not pulling with my arm. I'm not pushing with anything. I am just cutting towards myself. And my thumb is really not on the way. You will see people carving with uh, their thumb literally on the way. This is for me dangerous, but that's the thing you can do because the blade hitting your finger straight away is okay, I would say, right? But I. I never do that. I always put my thumb really far away because the first time I've cut myself, I didn't want to do that again, right? And I just remove the wood with this motion. And that's it. I'm aware where my thumb is. I'm aware where the distance of my blade can go. And I'm not doing anything more than that. Take your time. Just remove little by little. If you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to rush anything. So to recap, always put your blade away from you when you hold your knife. If you're carving towards yourself, put your thumb away. If you're carving on the other direction, make sure that the hand holding your project, every finger is out of the way. Your blade holding hand has to do only the lever motion of guiding the blade. All the strength is only coming from your project, the hand holding the project. 
it's always coming from the thumb and that's it so when you push that's it I cannot go farther than that and all my fingers are out of the way of the blade if you're carving towards yourself this thumb put it away and use this motion to remove the wood and then make sure that your blade is not ever gonna get to your thumb and this is it this is as simple as that just always make sure that your fingers are out of the way try to not be too comfortable when you carve because this is when you will stop focusing and then well mistake might happen it's always like i said at the beginning we all do that it happens to all of us but always just try to remember to stay focused on your thing because those blades are sharp there's a reason for that so i hope you enjoy i hope it was helpful and uh, we will see each other in the next video bye bye